We are two days away from taking this ASCP exam. It's 7.30 in the morning right now and I am on my way to the library. My house has no AC right now and I just can't focus on the house anyway. I just went through all of the PowerPoints and notes that I needed. I took them out and I am just bringing packets of notes for me to read through. I need to take like at least two mock exams today. Probably gonna take one as soon as I get to the library, study, and then take one before I leave the library just to see if doing what I did today helped at all. This is so stressful. I'll see you guys whenever I get to the library. I'm at the library. It didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Traffic was actually flowing pretty well, even though there were a lot of cars. Now we just gotta do it. Alrighty, let's go. My main ways of studying for the ASAP two days before my scheduled exam was to do more mock exams through Media Lab and making sure I took my time reviewing the answers and understanding the reasoning behind them. Most of the descriptions helped me to learn better test taking skills. Apparently, I have a really bad habit of not reading the question entirely and misinterpreting what I'm reading. Sometimes the answer is even already in the question. My professor once said that 70% of 100 really is just 70%. Doing multiple mock exams not only gave me a good feel for what the true exam may be like, but it also taught me how to slow down and trust my intuition. It also taught me how to not go back and change my answers because a lot of the times my first answer was the correct way. Honestly, spending eight hours in the library just trying to study and cram as much as I could made me feel so productive and it helped me reassure myself that I was probably going to be fine, but wait till you see how I react the next day because I didn't feel good that day at all. I'm doing really good but some of the questions I've already seen, so I don't know how much this is actually helping me, but I'm gonna go through all the wrong answers. This is my sheet of scratch paper that I was using during my exam. So you can see, I'm just pulling stuff out of my brain to try to think of what I'm doing. And then these are the things I wasn't sure about at the top. It's been about four hours, it's 11.30, and I'm about to go to lunch. I'm gonna get some Culver's, I might get the Culver's Deluxe, and I don't know if I want bacon on it or not. Could I just do the double Colbert Deluxe? It's not really busy in here right now. There's no one in this room currently. I definitely chose a spot that was by myself. I just got a double deluxe. I didn't think I needed the bacon. And it was actually cheaper because the menu said eight something, but she only charged me seven something. Hopefully she gave me the double because I wanted the double burger. It's a pretty big burger. Definitely a double. 30 now and my lunch break is officially over i gave myself an hour to relax and honestly i've been done eating since 12 but i felt like allowing myself to have an extra 30 minutes would be really beneficial to my studying today i'm actually pretty proud of myself that i sat and did homework from 8 until 11 30. i mean i really only did my media lab but that's still something and i took some notes on my wrong answers and my right answers the library closes at 5 so i'm thinking of leaving around probably 4 or 4 30. let's go fire bring some more <laughs> My ASCP exam was scheduled for August 16th and I didn't start getting serious about studying until about two days before the exam, which is obviously what you're seeing right now. The week before, I would only briefly review what I already knew because that is where I felt the most confident. But on August 14th, I realized I had been wasting my time because what I already knew could only be 50% of what shows up on the exam. Even though I only needed 400 out of 1,000 points to pass, this exam was adaptive. And so if I got a question wrong, the next question would be easier, but it would also be worth fewer points. And of course, if I don't get the 400, I don't pass. So I saw some Reddit reviews and YouTube videos of other people who failed the exam even after scoring well on their Media Lab mock exams, and I wasn't about to become one of those people. So instead of only studying for three to four hours a day, I started spending eight hours studying. But of course, it was only two days before the exam, so I don't know how much that actually helped me. But I did Media Lab mock exam reviews, and then I also started doing subject specific reviews. So there's an option in Media Lab where you can just choose, like, oh, I want to do 25 questions in Blood Bank only. So it will only give you blood bank questions and it really gave me an idea of how well prepared I was in each subject and I realized that chemistry was my weakest point. Then eventually I went back to my old notes and reviewed the content my professors had provided for me from lectures. My brain is trying to feel fried, super fried. 
I still have to sit here for at least three hours. If you want a more detailed video of how I was successful in the MLS program at UWF, then let me know in the comments because I feel like a video like that would be super helpful because obviously the videos I've been putting out is just specifically what I did right before the exam. But of course, there's more on like what to do during the school year, during the actual semesters, rotations, and then I'll probably go deeper in detail about what I was doing this past couple of days before the exam. But yeah, just let me know and I'll make one. It obviously will take a couple of videos because I actually have other videos that are already filmed and planned out to get uploaded. So yeah. <laughs> Look who surprised me! I wasn't supposed to see him today, so he decided to come here and see me study in the library. It's four o'clock right now, and I guess I'm just gonna go to his house and have dinner with them. I'd say today was pretty productive. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but good enough. How do you feel being here? Are you glad you came? Yeah. Really? It's like a, a five minute drive away from here. <laughs> Jamie sleeps. Today's Tuesday. It's actually almost 12 o'clock and I am trying to cram as much as I can. I really don't know what I'm looking at. I've kind of just been focusing on chemistry because chemistry is my weak point. So is micro. So I'll do micro after this. I am about to get to the sixth section. I'm trying to decide if I want to look at molecular or not because I don't think it's going to be on the exam. I am at a different house now. I'm at my aunt's house just because she lives closer to the testing center. This is the current setup. And I've done a little bit of writing for chemistry. I don't know why I showed you all those pages because obviously there's no writing there. The exam is literally tomorrow and I'm getting very worried and scared. I am actually not that great at standardized testing. So I guess let's just start studying. So the day before the exam was probably the most stressful day I ever had in my ASCP study journey because I felt super screwed over. Like I had wasted the last two weeks of my life. I was either hanging out with friends or just scrolling through YouTube all day. I really felt like I was about to fail this exam. A friend of mine kept reminding me to only study what I didn't know and chemistry and micro seemed to stand out the most, but mostly chemistry. Hematology and blood bank were pretty straightforward for me so I didn't really worry about them and those were pretty much the four big subjects that I had to worry about for this exam. Chemistry, micro, hematology, and blood bank. Smaller sections like urinalysis and parasitology were not my priorities because I knew there were small sections and considering it was the day before the exam I think focusing on those would have also been a waste of time for me because at that point it was either I knew it or I didn't. So for chemistry I went back and redid all the quizzes that our professors had us doing during review week and I wrote out all those formulas and common reference ranges that we used in class or ones that I saw in media lab and I made sure to like make a whole sheet of it. That way whenever I needed to review I can just see all the formulas at once just to give a little memory boost. It got to the point where I reviewed so much chemistry chemistry that I barely even looked at micro. So I only planned to look at flow charts for micro, like of the different organisms and all that stuff, but they were mostly charts that I would be able to recognize if I saw them. So I didn't really worry about that much. And luckily this exam was multiple choice. The day before the exam, I only studied my weak point and that was chemistry. And I'm not ready. So I'm in the testing center and I'm definitely not ready. I don't know what I'm doing. I also already flooded a toilet. So yeah, this is how I'm starting my morning. It's also 7.30 in the morning. A few moments later. I did it. I passed my exam. That was so nerve wracking. Um, <laughs> Honestly, I, I didn't even go back and change any of my answers. Actually, I changed one of them. I did change one of my answers, but that was it. I kind of just submitted. First floor. So we had 150 minutes to take this exam and I finished with 33 minutes left. Yeah, so on all the mock exams, I only took maybe an hour to take all of them. But for this one, I stared at every single question for so long. 150 minutes, I, I was taking that exam for two hours, but we passed, we did it, and I'm supposed to cry. So that way I can tell my professor I failed, but I'm not crying right now. So I really don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna wait for the rest of the day. And if I if I cry at all today, then I'll record myself. Cause I don't know if I can make myself cry right now. Now. like I'm just happy I passed I can't believe I did it oh my goodness ah! okay I have to wait for Sade now she's actually still in there I saw her she was like a couple tables down for me wow I don't know what to do now I'm done I finished wow I just sent Katie a tech and we're in Sade's hotel right now we both passed so that's good we both took a lot longer than we thought you wanna, you wanna show them your reaction how do you feel um, I don't know it's like <laughs> We both can't stop smiling, that's for sure. Yes. Well, the fact that I literally clogged the toilet right before the exam and flooded. Did you see it? Did you go on there and look? No. Oh. But I was like, you've been having a rough time. I was sitting here just eating my breakfast. <laughs> and you were just flooding the bathroom. And I was like, is she going to be okay? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's like not good luck for you. 
<laughs> well, I still pass, so it's okay. I don't know what this is. Look at this detail. Okay, here's the first look. Oh, this looks pretty cool. How would it feel to have this place to yourself? Weird because it was my first time like traveling solo by myself. Solo by myself. <laughs> wow. Oh. Katie, I'm sorry. I, I actually didn't fail. I passed. We're good. We are okay. We <laughs> <laughs> well, my professor responded really fast. So she's gonna see me and Shade just laughing in a video. Yeah, yeah, I think she's gonna like find us and, and beat us for scaring her like that. <laughs> so this might be the last time you hear from me. So just that out there. I'm hi again. It's actually the next day after the exam. The only thing we did was after we left the testing center, I went to have lunch with Sade and her dad and we went to get Thai food. It was pretty good. I got tofu pad Thai. No spice because whenever you get to one level of spice, it's just too spicy for me so I can't do it. I know. What a disgrace to my entire family who literally eats spicy food. I am wearing the same shirt as I was wearing yesterday just because I did not pack enough clothes when I was staying with my aunt. And this is the shirt out of all the shirts I was wearing these past two days that I wore the least and I did wear this shirt because I felt like it was good luck because it says blood donor because I don't need blood for the first time so that was exciting I just want to come on here and end the video this is the end of the vlog this is the end of my school vlogs I guess yeah like I'm literally done with school I don't have to do school ever again now I just get a full-time job start making money and I'm good to go thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you're about to take your ASCP exam good luck to you you're gonna do great as long as you study a couple days before the exam at least alrighty thanks for watching comment subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!